so first, uh, thanks for this organizer for this opportunity. Uh, so uh, I'm going to talk about the theory with uh, four uh, masses derived from Young's uh, coupled to V1 gauge field, uh, just as uh, Dirac's work is. Uh, and we would like to propose this theory as a providing a unified framework uh, to, for the uh, two-dimensional magnetic system uh, to study the various competing orders and spin liquid phases. Uh, so we are going to focus on a set of operators called monopoles uh, and study the transformation properties of this set of operators uh, to elaborate this one. So first of all, uh, spin one half system on two-dimensional lattice has always uh, uh, been a fascinating platform, hosting uh, lots of uh, uh, exciting uh, physics because of like uh, fluctuations and probably geometric fluctuation. Uh, and typically, uh, people studying it by some slave or uh, slave uh, slave particle uh, formalism. And here we uh, fractionalize the physical spin operator uh, into uh, fermionic partons. Uh, so this formalism introduces a SU2 gauge redundancy, uh, which can be viewed uh, if we arrange the uh, fermionic partons in this way, and uh, this psi carries a spinner rep uh, a rep fundamental representation of this SU2. Uh, and uh, the spin interaction will become quartic fermion terms uh, under this uh, rewriting. Uh, so at zero's, zero's order, uh, we do need field theory to study the low energy uh, uh, theory as a starting point. Um, so uh, a certain, a particular set of uh, mean field, uh, which breaks the, uh, when this uh, UIJ, the two by two matrix, is proportional to sigma three, uh, this kind of break the SO2 gauge structure into a uh, U1 subgroup. Uh, and people, has been, uh, people have been particularly interested uh, in a certain kind of mean field onset, where we have two gapless points in the Berlin zone for one spin species. Uh, so together, there are four gapless direct points uh, at low energy. And after we include the gapless uh, gauge boson fluctuation, uh, namely a uh, small A field for the U1 uh, subgroup, uh, then the low energy theory uh, is described by these four gapless identical direct formulas, so called Q. Uh, this uh, theory has been studied before by many people, and in particular for uh, to have like favorable mean field uh, energy. And uh, more remarkably, there is a emergent uh, SO four flavor symmetry that rotates uh, among the four flavors of fermion. Uh, and this SO four flavor symmetry actually uh, rotates the different fermion bilabia that's associated with uh, different competing orders. Um, so uh, actually, there is another symmetry that uh, I didn't talk about, which is this U1 plus symmetry, uh, and that's related to this monopole operator, which also previous people has, uh, have talked about. Um, so monopole is an uh, in two plus one D is an asymptotic event that changes the total flux of the small a field by multiples of two pi. Um, uh, and why, why do we consider monopoles? Uh, so monopoles, they are the most elementary operator in this QED3 uh, because they uh, transform in the vector representation of the SO6, which is uh, associated with the SO4 flavor symmetry. And also they carry this uh, charge of the U1 flux innovation. Uh, so if we manually, if we uh, don't add monopole operator, the total flux of the small A gauge field is actually conserved which is why we have this U1 flux uh, conservation. And the fermion bilinear, uh, actually they form a uh, adjoint representation of the SO6, which is equivalent to a uh, REN2 uh, anti-symmetric tensor. Uh, so it's an uh, anti-symmetric uh, combination of monopoles. Um, and monopole actually uh, determines like the fate of this uh, U1 direct spin liquid. Uh, because uh, if uh, there is a trivial monopole that's allowed uh, in the action, then um, for from larger study, uh, people conjecture that this monopole will be relevant, namely will, it will proliferate and confine the photon uh, uh, excitation and uh, drive the system to some exotic uh, strongly interacting fixed point. 
Uh, even if the monopole are forbidden by some tree, um, if the interactions are so strong that uh, uh, a symmetry breaking mass is spontaneously generated, uh, then there are a particular monopole will certain to proliferate. Uh, and the resulting order is actually stipulated both by the symmetry breaking mass and the monopole. Uh, so we see it's very important to study the quantum number, the transformation property of monopoles. Uh, so by state operator correspondence, uh, monopoles are actually uh, uh, can, can be viewed as uh, putting the system on a sphere uh, with a, a small a uh, background flux. Uh, and the four direct fermion under the background gauge flux uh, will form particle hole symmetric lambda levels. Uh, with one particular zero mode associated with each um, monopole for a two pi uh, gauge flux. Uh, so the Bronze, the most relevant uh, uh, monopole, can be viewed as filling all the negative uh, energy states, which is the direct C, uh, plus uh, two out of the four uh, zero modes to the particle symmetric level. Um, so picking two out of four, we get uh, six degenerate uh, monopoles. Uh, the the SU uh, the SO six uh, part of the transformation are just encoded in the transformation of the zero modes associated with each Dirac fermion. Um, however, the U one uh, flux phase phase vector uh, will be the center of our work, uh, and it's hard to uh, ex extract from this uh, zero mode transformation. And after uh, a symmetry breaking mass is spontaneously generated, uh, for example, a quantum spin hole mass in the z direction, actually the zero mode energy gets split up. Uh, and here, uh, the zero two zero mode associated with the spin up um, Dirac fermion uh, actually gets lowered. So a certain monopole that gets two spin up zero mode fields will have lower energy. Um, and so what one mode not two uh, this is because uh, the center of the SO6 and the, uh, the minus one of the C1 plus has the same uh, operation on all physical operators. So the, this C2 has to be uh, more dot. So actually the mechanism we propose uh, from this U1 direct scale liquid to other symmetry breaking orders is by the uh, formula mass plus some uh, monopole proliferating. Oh sorry, you're saying the flux carry the vector so, so the change of sign of that vector is the same as that. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. model, but. Uh, so what are the symmetry green orders that we are looking at? Uh, on square lattice, it's the traditional uh, familiar uh, nail order, which is described by the three vector that's rotated under the SO3 spin, and also a two vector that's describing this uh, uh, columnar valence bound solid. Um, so the previous work has identified certain fermion bilinears that transform exactly as the order parameter of these two symmetry breaking phases. However, um, once we add some fermion mass, uh, there is still some gapless photon mode, uh, but there is uh, which has no analog in the actual microscopic uh, system. So we have to proliferate multiple to find the photon excitation. On the other hand, for triangular lattice, uh, the traditional order is like this 120 degree order. Even if after we uh, specify some uh, certain direction to specify this plane of this 120 degree order, there is still one degree of freedom uh, associated with uh, the, uh, the xy plane uh, rotation. Uh, so we see that uh, we have to uh, use a complex three vector to describe this, uh, uh, this symmetry breaking order. And uh, similarly for the 12 side uh, VPS uh, phase, we also need a complex three vector. Uh, which means that the fermion bilinear uh, framework does not suffice to characterize these two symmetry breaking orders. So we need to search for a more complete set of, uh, of operators that characterize the symmetry breaking orders. So all these uh, two cases uh, lead to um, uh, require uh, the role of monopole. Um, so to extract uh, this uh, hard U1 phase, uh, we first use some numerical simulation um, to uh, to calculate the overlap of the many value function uh, of this you know, uh, insulator. Uh, and we also develop a uh, analytical argument, uh, namely based on volume center. 
Uh, so first, we get out this uh, U1 drug spin liquid by a uh, quantum spin hall term. And uh, forget about the gauge fluctuation, so it's just a spin on insulator. And now the molecule is just an indicator um, of the band topology, uh, just as previous uh, uh, has mentioned. Um, for example, uh, in this quantum spin hall system, which is protected by the U1 uh, particle number completion and time reversal, uh, the monocle of U1, uh, the central flux of this U1, uh, is all under time reversal, which means that we are at, uh, which means that it's a strong topological uh, insulator. Uh, and similarly, if we substitute rotation symmetry for time reversal, then we are considering whether the system is a symmetry protected topological phase protected by some uh, crystalline symmetry namely the rotation. Um, so the the symmetry flux of this U1 uh, will transform uh, uh, non-trivially under rotation, uh, which means it's a crystalline SPT. Uh, so to further diagonalize the uh, diagnose the, this uh, crystalline SPT, we use the symmetry indicator developed recently. And to view it more uh, intuitively, if we allow, allow us to break the time reversal symmetry, this spin on insulator can be uh, continuously deformed to a set of to uh, atomic uh, limit where the molecule, uh, sorry, where the spin-ons are actually localized at certain uh, rotation centers. Uh, and the monopose actually sees a Darry phase after it rotates around certain spin-ons. Uh, so after we calculate the high symmetry, uh, the representation as high symmetry point in the Berlin zone, so, uh, we actually uh, found the uh, gauge charge configuration in all these four substances. Uh, so uh, maybe one um, one comment is like uh, for triangular lattice, if we consider translation symmetry, which is C3 rotation around this uh, side and uh, a C3 inverse around this side, so uh, we add, uh, the monopole actually sees like. Uh, gate charge two, so which means there will be a four pi over three Darry phase associated with this molecule. So uh, in light of time, uh, I'll just uh, skip the uh, details on bipartite lattice. And so on bipartite lattice, there will always be a trivial molecule, um, which just means uh, the fermion mass by linear suffice to determine the final uh, order. Uh, and this trivial monopole um, might drive the system to probably the deep defined critical point. And on non bipartite lattice, um, from, uh, from this work, um, so uh, people identify like the expectation value of this uh, sidebar sigma psi or sidebar tau psi are actually associated with these two uh, symmetry breaking order. order. And uh, in addition to this uh, monopole, um, the, the, uh, as we said, the monopole actually gets a uh, 2 pi over 3 phase under translation. So if uh, for this 120 degree order, if you write the order parameter as SX plus SY, then ISY, then this order parameter actually exactly rotates 2 pi over 3 under translation. So which is consistent with the monopole pattern number. Um, and moreover, we find uh, the lowest order of uh, Symmetry allowed monocle term is a triple monocle, which is slightly relevant. So it means that this U1 drug liquid can actually be a, um, relevant, a, a stable phase. Uh, so uh, I guess this is my summary. So we identify a mechanism from the fermion mass uh, plus monocle proliferation uh, for, to, uh, to uh, start from this U1 spin liquid and enter other uh, various symmetry breaking orders. Uh, and it might be relevant for a um, NARC study and uh, experiment. Thank you. It's a good time to take a break now. And thanks to all the speakers in this session. That was very good.